being unaccountable for your own emotions is going to cost you in trading. And lately, Bitcoin has people more fearful than ever before. In this video, I'll be telling you my trading plan and what I'm looking for next. And you can use this information and insights to help you conquer your own emotions and start to crush the charts like a champion. So I'm going to be picking up where we left off a few videos ago, where we were trading down here around $27,000. Of course, at the time, we had, had actually got a bounce off of the daily to the exact dollar. Seems quite a while ago now, right? But that's what we had seen, a bounce off of the daily to the exact dollar. Moving on to a swing failure pattern of the range high. Bearish divergences off of that, coming down to a simple swing failure pattern of the low. So if we come down here on a one hour chart, you can see very clearly Okay, here, if I just mark it out for you, SFP, swing failure pattern of the range high. Here, you started to form bearish divergences, brings you down where to the low of the range, where you take out those lows. And what happens on those range lows? Well, something very interesting indeed, right? It's like I was telling you in the last video, pay attention to Igor. The guy's an absolute legend, and he called this one to the absolute T. Uh, so we actually gave everybody in the group in the Champions live stream on Sunday, reviewing that again on Monday during a daily live stream, uh, the long trade setup. And quite simply, while everyone was fearful at that low, he actually traded his plan that he had set out and took the long trade. So he took that long from $27,000. Why am I talking about this? Well, of course, not only was it the absolute low of the move bringing us to $30,000, but also an absolute masterclass from the legend himself, Eagle, of how you got to manage those emotions, take profits on the rise and be prepared for large volatility, right? Let me just show you, you know, some of his posts of how he's talked, you know, the team through it. So, of course, originally he caught that long, no hindsight. He planned the trade. He took the trade. He posted it in his trading uh, coaches only channel, right? From that, absolute low of the move offered a swing failure pattern of the low okay taking out his key levels got his entry trigger okay from there obviously you know <laughs> be prepared to take profits on the long again he's not aiming for the moon he's doing very sensible explaining to people where to lock in those take profit ones okay where to lock in those take profit twos each step of the way did he, you know, close the trade at the absolute high? No, but he's took profits here at 28400 okay? Of course, from there, we moved up to $30,000, right? We did move up to $30,000, uh, but this is the aim of the game, right? You come in here, you make profits, you know, he's entering those long positions while everybody's bearish down there at the lows, and it's like he says, make the plan, trade the plan. While everyone was bearish, I was confident and said many times, swing is complete, and down there, we take no shorts and look for longs. Good night, team. See you in the morning for the next update right from that long trade we went slightly through 20 28 300 400 of course but that was a key level brought us up to 30,000 psychological level and this is actually where i told my team be prepared here for a large and quick move to the downside the way that we had brought up this price action basically left us for little support on the way back down if we were to get a market structure change and be prepared for this very quick and volatile move down after taking out 30k uh, you can see the levels that I had marked out below us were all the way back down here, actually, at 27,400, where we actually had an, a, a significant level being the daily and the daily naked point of control, right? And we actually then come down and we did tap this. And what I personally found very interesting was as we were coming down to tap these levels once more for the back test, uh, Ethereum actually finally hit that daily level. If you looked at Ethereum and you've been following my analysis, you know this daily level was a key level for me, right, of support. We slightly front run it, we slightly front run it, we got the rise, Bitcoin also rising to $30,000, but then we finally got the tap, yeah? And that's Bitcoin coming back and testing its lower support levels that we had marked out, okay? Well, simultaneously, then you obviously had Ethereum back testing that daily as well. Well, Ethereum got the 8% bounce to the upside, and Bitcoin also got the recovery from those levels as well. And that really brings us up to where we are here. So that was a quick, how many minutes was that then? We, we got talked through, you yeah, know, three minutes. I've talked you through uh, the reason why we put in the low, how we got this rise to the upside. This was a very difficult short indeed, by the way. I personally did not take it. I was definitely prepared for the drop and I was not longing up here, but I personally did not short this. Um, and we obviously, though, did get a large drop to the downside. And as expected, it was a quick you know, quick move to the downside. I was definitely prepared for that. Uh, more interesting for me was, you know, the bounce that we got off of the lows on this Ethereum pair and how on Bitcoin, you know, that really brought us down to the daily in MPOC. Of course, from here, 
Ethereum, lovely 8% bounce to the upside. If you want to know the exact percentages here on Bitcoin, you're also looking about an 8.5, 8.6% bounce to the upside. So not too shabby indeed. Okay, so what are we looking at next? Okay, so this is where I'm going to bring you down to your emotions in check. As I started off uh, the video here for you all, I was telling you how, you know, you have to be accountable for your emotions, for your own emotions. And if you are not accountable, if you don't, do not hold yourself to a level of, you could even call it a self-respect, you know, if you are taking your trades, you have to put in the analysis and do the work, right? And this is what we teach you at Chart Champions. We teach you the tools, okay? We teach you the theories and we give you strategies uh, of what you can do to formulate your own plans and get ready for these trades, okay? So if you've probably noticed I'm doing less and less public videos and, you know, still doing, of course, all the content working in Chart Champions, the mentorship absolutely actively every single day. Um, but, you know, between these videos, even in even inside of the mentorship, we always will tell people you've got to be holding yourself accountable, you've got to be doing your technical analysis and you've got to be prepared for what's to come. OK, so how can I translate that to you now in this public video? Of course, I don't have time to teach you all the tools that I use. <laughs> that would take <laughs> several hours. So within the next five, 10 minutes of this video, I'm going to prepare you for what you can be looking for in terms of having a trading plan and how that is then, of course, going to help you, you know, conquer those emotions and not be fearful. I truly feel there's a lot of fear in the market. You know, of course, you have the people ultra euphoric that really think Bitcoin's going to, you know, a hundred thousand dollars. But you have a lot of people right now that are really bearish and thinking, oh no, this is the this is the top of the rally. You know, we're looking for major bearish targets. I don't think we need to be in either camp. We don't need to be major bearish. We don't need to be major um, bullish or bearish, right? We can just trade the charts, trade the next levels, and there. This is the plan that I'm going to be walking you through now. Okay. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do before I do that is just one very quick announcement for you, and this is based off of the <laughs> hundreds of questions that I've been asked recently, um, and that is to do with KYC, know your customer. Uh, and of course, you know, it is a big topic of discussion, especially in crypto. If, you're, if you've ever traded the stock market commodity, you know, KYC is absolutely uh, required. You know, if you want to trade stock, KYC, everybody requires this. It is a legal requirement, right? And, you know, with time, Bitcoin, you know, crypto exchanges becoming more compliant, becoming more regulated. Naturally, they are also having to introduce KYC. It's a standard process and it is expected. A lot of people obviously in crypto are against uh, KYC for whatever reason they might have. I personally am not against it anymore. You know, I see it is becoming more and more common and that is to be expected as time comes on and the space becomes more regulated, right? Uh, so yeah, bunch and bunch of questions that I had about it. I personally am here to just tell you that I have done KYC. I have committed, um, you know, I have given them my, my details and I have uh, KYC'd here on Bybit. Of course, I am from the UK. Uh, so I have, you know, done this with my England details. I've given them my uh, identity ver verification. And I have KYC'd here on Bybit just for all those people wondering if I would or not. But yeah, just to let you know, completely transparent, I am on Bybit. They are introducing KYC. I have KYC. And for me, this is not a problem at all. You know, I'm, I'm happy to uh, KYC to continue trading on the exchange. Of course, you know, long list of, you know, if you're from the USA, etc. I'll give you more details into this. If you're interested, you can leave a comment down below. But, for, you know, for my European friends alongside me, <laughs> well, I guess UK, we're not really Europeans, but I've, I've done it in the UK. But for those people alongside me, you know, just to let you know, yeah, I have KYCs. And, uh, yeah, now we can start to bring it over back onto the charts. And there was one other thing that I wanted to mention, and that was you can check in our socials. And um, if you also are looking to take advantage of this current promotion, uh, basically, Chart Champions have secured an exclusive and very good deal, actually, for you all. And this is a special offer uh, that we've managed to negotiate with Bybit, that if you do submit your KYC... OK, and you are registered under our affiliate team link, you're actually going to be able to get up to VIP three for for free, basically. OK, VIP one at the very least and VIP three if you deposit 50K as well. OK, if you're already under our affiliate link, you can take advantage of this as well. Uh, but if not, make a new account on Bybit right under our affiliate link. Once you've made that, you can just submit this Google form and we will get that VIP added to your account. Of course, there are many benefits of being a VIP on Bybit. And, you know, most, most, most exclusively would be the very big fee discounts that you get. 
But yeah, this is an offer that you're not actually going to see anywhere else. This is a completely unique and very special offer that we've acquired for you. And it's just, yeah, to show you, I have KYC'd. Uh, if you want to also KYC, then you can, you know, take advantage of the offer that we've that we've secured for you. No pressure. Do your own research, of course. At the end of the day, this is just putting you aware that we have you know, got this offer. And if you want to make advantage of the offer and get the K, uh, VIP benefits on Bybit, then you can do that with KYC. So yeah, that's it in terms of the announcements. Uh, let's move back to the charts. And I saw that's why you're all here at the end of the day. But I just know that we do have hundreds and hundreds of questions about KYC recently. So I wanted to take a few minutes here, dedicated it uh, to this part of the video just to, you know, say, hey, I have KYC, it's not a problem, I'm going to continue to trade on Bybit. And for the Americans that are going to struggle with that, uh, I'm doing some research into the next best exchange. Uh, so you can bear with me for a week or a week, or, you know, one more week as I do my continued research. Uh, so bringing it back to the charts, right? As I told you, a lot of emotions flying through the market right now. A lot of people really struggling, being ultra bearish or ultra bullish. So how do we bring this back to its core? Well, we start to do our technical analysis, right? And from this technical analysis, we formulate our plans. And with these plans, you know, that's when we can activate trades. So I'm always looking, if we rise in price, I'm looking for shorts. If we drop in price, I'm looking for longs. Okay, you see how that I'm already flipping on its general structure on the head. Most people, when price drops, they're bearish and they're looking for shorts. When price rises, they're euphoric and they're looking for longs. No, when price rises, I'm looking for shorts. And when price drops, I'm looking for longs. You know, quoting Eagle once more, right? When he, you know, price has been dropping recently, he bought it all at $27,000. When price rose, you know, he's taking profits. So it's like, while everyone is bearish at those lows, you've got to be, you've got to be looking for longs. Uh, and when price is rising <laughs> into 30K, you know, you've got to be looking for those shorts, right? Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that I wanted to just drop a, drop a little bombshell of knowledge on you there or just insights in general of how I approach the market. I'm sure many of you already know that. Don't? Um, so now, what am I looking for next? Well, of course, we had this large rise up, large drop down to the, to the downside. Now we have actually started to form this type. I would refer to this as a type of triangle. It's not the most perfect triangle that you're ever going to see, right? I totally understand that. But what we can see is a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And here we can see a higher low, higher low, and higher low. So this is what we call constricting price action. Price action is coming down and forming into an apex. From this apex, if I just add that line back on, from this apex, we are going to be expecting a breakout. Okay, so it's only, price can only constrict so much before it's going to break one of the trend lines, right? And generally speaking, what we're going to be doing here is I will do a few different things. First of all, pull a fixed range of the local triangle. OK, so we can see we're very constricted in the top trend line being our value area high and the bottom trend line being our value area low. Absolutely brilliant. This gives us an extra level of confluence of when we get the break. OK, so what we'd be doing are a few things here. OK, I would specifically be doing this. If we got the break to the upside, I'd be aware of a daily naked point of control and that we have from this section of the chart. So we can actually pull this fixed range here as well. OK, this is for the people that don't have EXO, they don't have ATIS. If you've got the uh, templates off of our website and you trade with EXO and ATIS, then it's all automatic and done for you. But if you don't have that, you can kind of do a work around here on TradingView, right? And you can start to mark out these point of controls that would be classed as the previous range naked, right? So if we break this range to the upside, or sorry, this triangle type range to the upside, <clears throat> I'm always aware of fake outs. What does a fake out mean? It means we fake to the upside back down or we fake to the low side back up so always be aware of a fake out of a triangle <clears throat> it's a very common practice and remember if we break up here i'm not looking for the breakout longs i am aware of a short trade if we get the fake out just as if we begin to break down here i'm not looking for the breakdown short in in, in fear no, i'd actually be looking for the reversal long so pay attention to that. But if we get the clean break, so be it. I'm not going to take any short trades. And I'll look back up to the NPOC here, right? Hope that makes sense. To the downside, we also have a lower NPOC, by the way. Um, <clears throat> uh, but for me personally, it's not as interesting. So we do have a lower NPOC down here. But for me, it's not as interesting. We, of course, can be looking for levels such as the CC. 
But for me, the most interesting level would actually be the NPOC down here, where we slightly front run it here, right? We slightly front run it here. Uh, it gives us a nice swing fire pattern type trade. So yeah, you can be aware of a few things. You can be aware, for example, of this CC. You can be aware, for example, of the official triangle target, which would be, you know, around that CC. If we just take the length of the triangle, we expand it from the breakdown. You can see it's going to be around that zone. Likewise, if we expand it from the high, it's actually going to be taking these highs. So then look what look at this. You can also be aware of a swing fire pattern of this high as well, right? So you can see how in trading you are prepared for each scenario. I'm prepared for a rise, I'm prepared for a drop. Doesn't mean I have to be trading right now though. For me, I don't have a high probability trade setup right now. Why would I trade in the apex of the triangle when I can remain patient and wait for a much higher probability trading setup, which is what I will do. Okay? I am very patient, I'm very methodical, I'm very you know, following a process. It's all about process, it's all about plans, and it's all about having high probability trading setups. I refuse to take a low probability trading setup. And also if I miss a setup, like I missed this short yesterday, for me, it's not the end of the world. I remain calm, collected, focused for the next trade setup that comes my way. Simple as that, right? Like we had the very nice one on Ethereum. Missed the short up here. This is a very nice long opportunity for many people. Why? Because we are aware of this level. Swing failure pattern, 8% rise to the upside. Well, now, even if we fall all the way back down, that's still an 8% rise that you can have taken profits on. So it's like Eagle yesterday, right? <laughs> Let's reverse it and say you took the long here on ETH. You know, if this comes up 8%, you lock in your take profit. Then if it comes back down and stops you out, you still made money, right? You take profits. You don't watch Big trades turn into losses. Take profits. It's the name of the game. Um, so yeah, here on Bitcoin, I think the bigger levels for me still remain the NPOC down here. Okay, moving up to the NPOC up here. So we have a weekly level to be aware of, but a very nice naked point of control here around 30,800. For me, a very interesting level. And the lower NPOC there around 26,800, right? Of course, we got bigger levels that will come into play. Should we start to break up here? Okay, and e.g. we clear these levels. And we have a much bigger levels above us. Just as if we begin to break down and we don't get the reactions we want, we've got much bigger levels below us. So for me, this though video is much more of a lower term time frame analysis. I don't want to go into that higher term time frame in this particular video. And if you want our higher term time frame analysis, then of course on Sunday, we got the Champions live stream. That's where we go into the higher term time frame analysis. Or if you want to be very patient, sometime next week, I'll do a public video, right? Where I'll talk about some higher term time frame analysis. But for now, if you want the higher term, it's going to be over on the website chartchampions.com. Uh, that's also where you've got our full educational library. That's where you've got daily live stream updates. Okay, that's where you got the inbuilt journal to help conquer your emotions, stick to plans. It's where you got the cheat sheets, the journals, you know, the templates. It's where you got the speed runs. It's where you got the courses. It's where you got everything that you need if you truly want to be successful. Okay, we're not here to give you signals. We're not here to hand out fish. We're here to teach you the methods to successfully fish, right? To successfully make profits in the market. So, yeah. I truly feel and can see from the results, there's nothing else like it out here. You know, there's many wannabes, there's many, many, many clones, right? But we are the originals, we are the best, and we hold our head up high and, you know, continue to work hard every single day. That's us at Chart Champions. If you like what you see, you know where to get more of it. Chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much for myself and the other coaches. Big shout out to uh, Rivalry. Big shout out to Severin and, of course, the legend himself, Igor. Love my team. Love Chart Champions, love the community. And if you want to see more, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. I will also leave the links for the Bybit affiliate sign up and the uh, KYC form uh, where, you know, e.g. you KYC and then you submit your details here so we can, uh, you know, ap apply the VIP for you in the description and comments down below. Okay, that's everything that I wanted to remind you of. And yeah, that is for me then signing out of this video. Hope you've enjoyed, hope you've understood. Hope I've given you some ideas of a local lower term time frame trading plan and how you can use that to conquer your emotions and start to crush the charts alongside us. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. That's me signing out. Cheers, everybody. Goodbye.